Welcome everybody. Short little mail call and shout out video for a friend of mine and a great guy in the community, the Mr. Silver Scrounger. Picked up a package from him off of Instagram. He did an Instagram live where he was selling a few coins and uh, these are these uh, right here caught my eye so I picked them up. Silver Scrounger does an awesome job of packing. Very professional. You guys should definitely check them out. Uh, I'm super excited to see what's in this package. Hope you guys are as well. Stay tuned. Let's find out what's in here. Definitely go check out Silver Scrounger on YouTube. He has the same name on Instagram. He sells coins and he's an awesome guy. Great channel. So this is one of the coins in here. This is an MS1942 Mercury Dime. It's got uh, full bands. You can tell the full bands by if you look around the bands of the torch, you can see lines, full lines in between them. This is a great example. Thanks, Silver Scrounger, for an awesome coin. Definitely appreciate it. Definitely appreciate this too. 1857 seated half dime. Uh, my first half dime. Paid like 15 bucks for it. Great deal. Uh, super excited. Thanks again, Silver Scrounger. Let's you look at these beautiful coins I got here from him. I'll give you a little history. The Mercury Dime is actually the Winged Liberty Dime or Ling Liberty Head. The, it was the design was made to intent the th uh, intended to symbolize the freedom of thought. The designer is Adolf A. Weinman. The weight of a mercury dime is 2.50 grams. The co composition is 90% silver, 10% copper, with a pure silver weight of 0 0.0234 of an ounce. The diameter is 17.9 millimeters with a reeded edge. They were minted in the Philadelphia Mint, the Denver Mint, and the San Francisco. The key dates to the series are the 1916 Denver uh the 1942 over 41 you can find in both the Denver Mint and the Philadelphia Mint. Also the 1921, the 21D, 25D, and 26S are all a bit pricey uh, in like an MS65. Pretty much everything's expensive in a high grade before 1934. They did proof strikes from 36 to 1942 and I believe all those were done at the Philadelphia Mint, but I am not 100% sure. Uh, just wanted to say thank you, Silver Scrounger. I really enjoyed these coins, and I uh, want to thank everybody for watching, taking your time out of your day. Hope you guys are out there checking your pocket change, and uh, keep on stacking, everybody. Thanks very much. Have an amazing day.